Tonight, businesses in Tigard on alert, hoping there isn't a repeat of the damage done last night after a riot was declared, the first of its kind to ever hit that city. It is 10 o'clock. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jeff Gianola. And I'm Elizabeth Din. And tonight, we're following up on that gathering of about 100 people in the city who say they're protesting Tigard police over the officer-involved shooting death of a domestic violence suspect. Now, some people in that group later vandalized the police station and nearby businesses. Jennifer Dowling, live tonight. And Jennifer, are we seeing any repeat tonight like we did last night? Well, fortunately, no, we are not seeing any kind of activity as we did last night. There are pe police patrolling, but no protesters or any groups in black roving through downtown breaking windows. Here is an example of what happened last night. It's a state farm office here that had some damage, windows broken, and there's also some uh, boards going up here behind me. You can see down sidewalk here. Uh, crews have been working all night on this. Uh, they're still working into the night to get those boards up. Most of the businesses spent the day putting boards up and scrubbing off graffiti and hoping for a quieter night tonight. <laughs> Business owners boarded up storefronts after buildings were tagged and windows broken during a riot Thursday night. Borders or M80 went off. Aldo Ruiz of La Fuente says the march kicked off on Southwest Main. They started tagging, breaking people's windows and not really focusing on what the what the cause is for and that's the real issue i mean you're hurting small businesses that are putting their life and soul into these businesses we already struggled through 2020 with covid as you can imagine as every business here on main street has and it's just one more thing that you know you're not expecting at the beach hut deli owner chris hatinger says he was somewhat prepared most of us got plywood in time no windows broken at his shop but plenty of graffiti members of the tiger little league showed up with coach kevin robinson to help with cleanup friday what they don't understand is those businesses didn't budget for that they have no idea that that's going to happen and so the money that they are going to have to put to that to fix it is money that they can't plow back into their community that we desperately need. People were amazing how they came together to support this little downtown area. Coach Robinson says it's businesses like this that give back to the kids. People like Beach Hut Deli and Mark Creevy State Farm fund programs that make sports, extracurricular activities accessible for everybody. Chris says if you'd like to pitch in, simply grab some food or shop at Tigard's downtown businesses. Every bit helps. Everybody needs to be supported, so spread the wealth and support everyone here. And the Washington County District Attorney's Office issued a joint statement with the Sheriff's Office this afternoon saying they support the rights of free speech, but they will not tolerate any illegal activity. And again, we've seen police patrolling down here tonight, and they tell us they're going to uh, stop and talk to anyone uh, who is downtown this evening in Tigard. Back to you. All right, Jennifer Dowling, thank you.